Hello and welcome. Amid all the hustle and bustle of Marseille, we find this wonderful football theatre, the Orange Velodrome. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's France versus the Netherlands. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And the contest begins... And France exploiting the space on the flank. A deep delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Nicely timed tackle. The pie. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Griezmann. Giroud. A very good tackle. The pie. And in the perfect position to read it. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. The supporters want to see him have a go. He's taken on his opponent here, and the keeper there to deal with it. Now, how about the short corner? Mbappe? Just made sure nothing came of that. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Can he make it 1 0? And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like.
Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, foul play, says the referee. And he saw the situation developing. Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. Able to get a body in the way. And a short corner, let's see. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Another look then at the penalty goal. Playing it short. Depay, really good block. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Nicely saved. Going short. Depay. Van Dijk. Losing possession. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Running with the ball confidently. And crossing towards the far post. And the problem not completely solved. Mbappe. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and he's in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out oh, there. Oh, Jeff, they're in a great position here. What an important piece of defending. Timber. Dumfries. Gakpo. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Shot attempted. Oh, that's a fine save. Short corner favoured. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Over the touchline for what will be a France throw. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. They could pick out a teammate. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, it fizzled out. Giroud. Now Griezmann. Kylian Mbappe. Being egged on by the crowd. Giroud. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Real chance. 
And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Already closing him down here. Well, finally, it goes out of play. And the pressure was there from the start. And so there it is. The first half has come to an end here at the Orange Velodrome. Well, the verdict on Kylian Mbappe, in a word, positive. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway here into the second half. Good looking move this. And a chance to whip it in here. Behind in the game, but now they have a corner. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. And a short corner, let's see. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And he stopped them in their tracks. Depay. Now based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Dumfries. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Thirty minutes left for play. Griezmann. A super tackle and they've won possession. He's enjoying space. De Jong. Oh, managing to beat him. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Rabiot. 
Chouameni. Dembele. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And out of play for a throw-in to France. Well, possibilities in the centre. And players waiting at the far post. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Steven Bergwijn. Effective challenge. Mbappe. Will it be? And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So back underway at 3 1. Oh, that's a really good run. Mbappe. And cut again from the flank. Zero. And keeping it out. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. That's going to be a double substitution. Going short. And a throw in here for France. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Steven Bergwijn. Blint. This attack looks highly promising. I think Baran was one step ahead of everybody following the cross. Ten minutes to go. Turam. It's there for him. And thwarted there following the cross. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Dumfries. It's with Jerome. Memphis. Really important tackle. Room to Rome here for France. Kriesman prepared to fire. They've regained possession. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Mbappe. Well, he could give it away. Opportunity here. Well, there it is. The final whistle. And France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? 
Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.